Locke returns to Roos and aids him with evading the Ironborn forces in order to re-enter the north and deliver his new bride to the Dreadfort. He greets Roos's bastard son, Ramsay Snow, like an old friend, evidently having a strong bond with the boy over the shared sadism, saying Ramsay would have loved Jamie scream after losing his hand. After Ramsay reveals to his father that Bran and Rickon Stark are alive and speculates they might have sought shelter with John at the Night's Watch, Roos promises Locke a thousand acres and a hold fast if he finds the boys. At Castle Black, Locke infiltrates the watch with the new recruits trained by John and Bren, proving himself skilled in combat. Pretending to befriend John, Locke poses as a game warden from the Stormlands who chose to take the Black rather than losing his hand, the penalty for hunting a prized partridge to feed his children, and jokingly laments that he still has to suck up to highborn cunts, like Alyssa Thorne. Later, Thorne sends Locke to fetch John. Locke briefly eavesdrops on John and Sam talking about Bran's whereabouts and pointing out Craster's keep as the likeliest place, before revealing himself and telling John that Thorne wants to see him. Thorne sanctions John's expedition to capture or kill all the mutineers at Craster's keep. After several brothers volunteer, Locke volunteers as well, hoping to find Bran and Rickon at the keep. John points out that he cannot take a recruit, but Locke counters that John needs men who know how to fight and is willing to say his vows, which Thorne allows. After the Night's Watch group led by John arrive at Craster's Keep, Locke is ordered to scout ahead. While scouting, Locke encounters the hut in which Bran, Jojin and Mira Reed, and Hodor are held prisoner. Locke returns to John and the others to give his report on the mutineers, but lies about the hut with the prisoners, cleverly lying that it is a kennel and that they should stay far from it so the hounds don't alert the traitors. The raid takes place that night. Locke slays a few mutineers but then goes to Bran and the others and introduces himself as a member of the Night's Watch's rescue party, but soon exposes himself as a threat when he slices Bran's leg. When Bran calls out to John, Locke covers his mouth and threatens to gut the others if he does that again. Locke then picks up Bran and attempts to escape the keep with him as he still needs to find Rickon as well. However, Bran wags into Hodor who ambushes Locke and kills him by snapping his neck with such force that his head is nearly torn from his body. Locke's mangled corpse is found and brought back to Craster's keep by Edison Tollett. Gren openly wonders what could have killed him in such a gruesome way. Locke's treachery, however, remains unknown to John and the others, and his body is burned inside Craster's hut along with the other slain black brothers to ensure they do not return as whites. After the Bolton army drives the remaining Ironborn from Moat Kalen and takes Winterfell, Roos asks Ramsay if he has heard anything from Locke. Ramsay informs him that he has not. Roos dismisses Locke's absence as unimportant, speculating that Bran and Rickon may already be dead.